Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Giselle Mills. For those of you who are new, welcome and welcome back to my subscribers. In today's video, I'm going to do a little book review. It's about a novel called Musical Youth and this is the book. It's set in Antigua and it's also written by an Antiguan author whose name is Joanne C. Hillhouse. I read it a few months ago. I never heard anything about it before I actually read it. I went to a bookstore here in Trinidad and it's called Paper-Based Bookstore and they specialize in selling Caribbean books. So I was looking for some books by Caribbean authors to purchase and I came across this one, Musical Youth, and I thought this summary seemed quite interesting, I liked the cover as well, so I decided to, you know, give it a chance. So I read the book and overall I quite enjoyed it and basically it's a novel, it's a middle grade sort of young adult crossover novel about a girl whose name is Zahara. She lives in Antigua and she lives with her grandmother. Now Zahara is a bit of a loner, she doesn't have many friends, but what she really loves is her guitar. Her guitar is like her best friend. Until she happens to meet this boy whose name, well his nickname is Shaka. And he's quite outspoken, he's easygoing, he's friendly and they are almost polar opposites because she's quite shy and he's quite outgoing and eventually we see that the two of them form a friendship and they get along quite well they share a bond over their mutual love for music and Shaka encourages her to kind of open up and get out of her comfort zone so much so that she, she and Shaka and his friends they enroll in this music program I think it's a concert to be held in their village and yeah they form a bond over practicing for this concert as well as a research project that Zahara undertakes for her school. So as a part of her school project she decides to look into the issues of colorism in Antigua and part of what she investigates is the incidences of prejudice faced by persons with darker complexions to those who are lighter skinned as well as those who face prejudice because of the texture of their hair. Now, you know, every story needs a little bit of drama. And this story has some drama in the sense that Zahara eventually finds out that there's this secret that ties her family with her new friend, Shaka, his family. And I'm not gonna give any spoilers, so I'm just gonna let you guys know. There's this secret that links the two families together. Now. Overall, I like the story. The themes I found were quite appropriate for the age level that it's set for. There are themes of family love, respect, because Zahara lives with her grandmother, as I said, and this grandmother is quite strict. She doesn't allow Zahara to go out much. Although, you know, Zahara isn't much of a rebel, so she doesn't mind sometimes, but she only really minds when she meets Shaka. So yes, we see themes involving family love, respect, especially for elderly persons because Zahara's grandmother is of an advanced age. We see the domineering sort of matriarchal household which is quite prevalent in some Caribbean households. We also have themes involving colorism. As I said, when Zahara does her research project on that theme, we have class issues as well. We have issues of racism. We see a good bit of friendship and courage as well as an issue of forgiveness and spoiler alert but young love hmm. now i really liked how the relationship dynamics were portrayed in this book especially the relationship between the main character zahara and her new friend shaka as well as her relationship with her grandmother we also get to see a bit from shaka's point of view as well he also lives in an extended family household structure he lives with his grandfather and I enjoyed reading their bond as well and how their relationship is portrayed. I also like the fact that the story was, you know, brave enough or courageous enough to tackle the issue of colorism in the Caribbean. And it's set in Antigua, so more so in Antigua. And not just colorism, but also prejudice faced by persons who have a much kinkier or thicker African hair texture. And we also get to see aspects of Antiguan culture, which I also quite enjoyed. I also thought that it was quite age-appropriate for this story. And it's a unique story, unique 
for me because I've never read one like it before. Now, there are only a few things I didn't really like. Because it's set in Antigua, the author used some dialect in the dialogue. I was not able to follow ex every single piece of dialect. That wasn't a bad thing because I could have understand the gist of what was being said, but at the same time, I couldn't follow every single word. The story is also very heavily influenced by music and there are many musical references to different songs from different time periods because as I mentioned the characters they bond over their mutual love for music and they enter into this competition which is a musical competition as well. I'm no great music aficionada so I couldn't relate to many of the musical references either but it wasn't uh, real negative for me. I just skipped over most of the talk about music. And the last thing I didn't like, which may be a bit nitpicky, is the formatting of the book. It's quite wide spaced, like it seems to be double spaced, which made it seem a bit more middle grade than young adult, in my opinion. But like I said, that's just a bit of a nitpicky issue that's personal to me. So, to summarize, I quite enjoyed this novel. It was well written, very enjoyable. I thought the themes were quite appropriate, it's age appropriate, and it was a very interesting read. I liked the characters very much, especially Shaka. It's quite amusing. And I like to see the character development of the main character, Zahara. And I also enjoyed the portrayal of the Caribbean family dynamics. I thought that was very well done. If I were to rate this book out of 5 stars, I believe I would give it a 4.5 almost a five you know not quite there but very close and I would recommend this definitely if you're interested in Caribbean literature if you want to read something a bit unique different from what you probably read anyway yeah pick this up and as a little side note this novel also placed second in the 2014 Burt Award for Caribbean literature if you're interested in books that win prizes but yes it came second in 2014 for the Caribbean Literature Award, hosted by the Burt Awards. So guys, Musical Youth, written by the author Joanne C. Hillhouse, I would definitely recommend it. And not only would I recommend it, but I think I'd also check out the author too, because I've never read any of her other books. I only came across this one, so for sure I'm gonna go check her out, see what else she's written, and yeah, dig into it. I love discovering new authors, especially if they're from the Caribbean. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my little book review of Musical Youth and please feel free to check it out. If there is an Amazon link to it, I'll put it in the description bar as well so it could be easy for you to find it. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and if you're not subscribed already, please feel free, hit that red subscribe button and click the notification bell as well so you'd always know whenever I post a new video. I'm also on social media, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram. And I have my own website, which is giselmillsbooks.com. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.